somebody's going to go 100 miles an hour on that thing, yeah, we hope. There gotta be much, some yeah. serious drinking going on first before you do that, man. <laughs> some serious drinking. Welcome back to my garage. I thought I'd uh, do a summary video to get everyone on board and up to speed on the on my my two-stroke engine design, the most powerful two-stroke ever made in relation to cylinder capacity. People are always arresting me on that. So yeah, uh, also I uh, I received. Uh, PVC gate valve, which might be perfect for my for my application as the as that shut off valve for the secondary intake. The only thing that could be an issue with using this PVC piece is heat. If it gets too hot and too hot for PVC is uh, like regular PVC is maybe 60, 70 Celsius degrees Celsius. It shouldn't get that hot at the intake side, and it will be cooled by a lot of airflow. So. Yeah, might be might be usable as the actual part. A huge thanks to all my patrons. I I kind of I'm sorry I kind of forget about the patron thing, but a huge thanks. I think it's 85 or 86 patrons I'm up to now. So a huge thanks to you guys. I haven't uh, like when I started the patron, I was talking about exclusive patron content and stuff like that. People get really angry when I talk about stuff like that, and I've decided to not do anything like that. So the patron thing is just to support me. You won't get any like extra things or extra content because that will be like people will get mad, and I understand because if you can't like if you're a hundred dollars short every month, you can't support someone with even one dollar because you don't have it. But you should be able to watch. All the content I create and and everything like that so and I've also been thinking because I have been like my problem is always time I'm always lacking time and um, if only 5% of my subscribers would support me with $1 a month I could like quit my day job do this full time that's five full days a week in the garage then we could make some headway, <laughs> really. Okay, how this all started. The first, like the spark for it was when I, um, uh, I was contacted by someone to, um, to help them with their, uh, to make more power in their jet, jet ski. I don't think it was a jet ski, like a jet surfboard. The cylinder is mounted in kind of an unusual way, at least for larger two-stroke engines. So instead of the normal orientation where the exhaust port is in line with the crank rotation, in this engine the cylinder is oriented 90 degrees off from the normal position. So that started a whole uh, thing about running with a wrist pin that's closed in one end and not having to worry about like making it flush with the piston to seal the from short circuiting between the exhaust port and the um, and the transfer ports. Then I got the idea of taking it even further, making a retained ring with pins or something, some kind of system to keep the ring retained and um, and be able to run 100% uh, of bore with exhaust port. Then Mark Atkinson contacted me and showed me his uh, awesome pistons said he could make some for me too with a special retained ring which is a variation of a ring patented by a New Zealand company EFFI no, IFFI was their name go go watch the video about it i ran some testing with a piston without the ring in just uh, with a drill on the engine to see if it was actually possible to if the piston would snag in the exhaust port and it seemed to be okay in the worst case scenario situation I tried to create there with large bore clearance, cold cylinder, slow speed, a lot of time for the piston to cock over and uh, over, <laughs> over and over uh, and snag. Not an issue. Gave myself a crash course in Fusion 360. First project was, was designing this cylinder and I succeeded. Got a 3D printer printed the, the model, actually several models, before I was pleased with the um, with how it turned out. Got a kiln, I was lucky to find one just a couple of hundred meters away from here, which was in okay condition, and that was for burning out the molds, burning out the PLA out of the plaster molds. 
Then I built a furnace, a propane furnace from an old uh, water heater to melt the metal. Did my first casting and it turned out much better than what I expected, even though I had uh, far too little aluminium, molten aluminium uh, in the, uh, my crucible was too small. And um, yeah, it just was, <laughs> was a success, even though it was a failure. And on the seventh attempt, I it was a success. Actually, the sixth one was also a success, but there was some tiny troubles in the board there. But the seventh attempt was a success. Holländaren was kind enough to machine it for me. The result is here. And I read up on and created my own nickel silicon carbide plating setup. Used hexagonal boron nitride instead of um, in silicon, silicon carbide. That was a mistake, it's too soft. Could have used cubic boron nitride. That could have been also a mistake because it's, it's known to be even almost as hard as diamond, difficult to hone. Now I've mixed in some silicon carbide in the boron nitride mix here and the, so the next plating should be should turn out because everything else just turned out it was just that it's not might be hard enough not as hard as I would have wanted it to be what she said suddenly a purpose for all of this uh, arose or presented itself Jim from the Bonneville trip thank you Jim without you this wouldn't have happened at all so now land speed racing that's my uh, that's my like that's the mission here fastest 50 cc ever that's the mission first fastest 50 cc in the class then fastest ever i just got a message from kai wheeler which is uh, i've designed the cases to you should watch the i did i haven't mentioned the recent videos now but uh, i've designed cases for this cylinder new cases with this <clears throat> go back a few videos and you'll see the like twin intake one tuned without a valve uh, thing going on there I've uh, designed the cases and Kai Wheeler is going to machine them for me. He's just waiting for a big block of aluminium to get cut up. And uh, I just got a message where he said he had the tool pads ready and I could look at him in Fusion. So I um, might insert a video of that here now. Also I received the PWM controller for my fuel pump. And I know the, um, the high pressure side with the nozzles and all that stuff is in the mail. So we're ready for some testing of the new injection, the nitromethane and methanol injection setup soon. Okay, thanks for watching. Or maybe there's some lathe content coming now.